and welcome each and everyone this is your girl hp and wherever you're coming from whether you're coming from africa asia north america south america antarctica oceanic africa wherever europe welcome each and everyone and tonight we're just going to be doing a recap of the just concluded Carifta games the caribbean championship boys and girls champs is over the carifta games 2024 is over and uh, we are just going to do a quick recap just to look at some events and talk about some stuff and hang out with you guys a little bit so i'm here with one of my colleagues from another channel javon from unseen sport tv mr unseen welcome sir do you have anything to say to the audience before we start well, um, HP said it all, you know, I apologize for the late start, but, you know, sometimes we have to give and take on some things and, you know, try your best to, to, to still give back, give the people what they want, all right? And we are here, so give God thanks, and I am going to make it be a ball, you know, give you guys the information, and we're going to reflect back on some of the, the, the nice, 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 the niceness, the pot cover, yeah, things that Pot cover wanna, events. Yes, yeah, so right, even though even though they call us soft, but anybody in in the track and field world know that Jamaica is not soft in in track and field. So let us kick it off with the one hundred meters. Let us quickly just look at the one hundred meters. Disappointed? Not disappointed? In the, in the under-17 girls, we got uh, a silver medal. Uh, in the under-17 boys, we got um, gold and bronze with uh, Adora Campbell in the under-17 girl. She won silver. In the under-17 boys, Nyron Wade and Malik Nugent copped gold and bronze respect respectively. In the under-20 girls, we Jamaica got a quinella one two with Sabrina Dockery came out on top, and of course, the impressive Tiana Lee Terrellong with the silver medal. And in the boys under 20, we got a bronze medal. So, from the 100 meters, Jamaica got one, two, three, four, five, six medals. Your thoughts, sir? Well, uh. The, the, the under 17 girls, though, I thought Nachi East should have won that one. I think we lost a gold medal in that section. I think that that young lady from, is from Guyana, right? Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Guyana, right? Should not have walked away with that um, gold medal. People say that Antin is mean, like we don't want to give the other Caribbean countries anything. But no, it's competition, and it's, we're in competition mode. Right? And I think that, you know, we should go for all the medals. And, and, yeah, and, but and, we, we have to, even with that, we have to remember that these athletes, they're just coming off champs, which was last week, the week before, and to be competing the following week for three days. And we have to remember that this year is also a big year for junior track and field, where we have the World Junior Championship coming up. And I I like the fact that she did not double because we have the depth. We have the depth. So there was no need to double Natrice East. And I am one of them who I'm always for the athletes and preserving the athletes. So we did not need to run her in the 100, the 200, and um, the relay. I, I think it was a good decision. And I realized that a lot of our top athletes did not double. We never need to double. We never need to double the top athletes because we had the debt. So that's my take on the 100. And of course, she delivered in the 200 that we're going to go to now. She, she won the 200 meters. Yes, yeah, she won the 200 meters. Mm -hmm. On the 17. She, and I mean, she came from behind. She came from behind and won the 200 meters on the 17 girls. Under 17 boys, uh, unfortunately, our two young men got injured in that race. I'm not sure how many people realize, but Byron Walker, Whoa, Byron um, Walker pulled up first, he pulled up on the, 
on the curve, he did not finish the race. And O'Shane Jervis, who won the silver medal, he actually hopped across the line. The line. He yeah. got injured with about 20, 30, 20 meters to go. So, you know, we have to commend him for finishing with a medal. Under 20 girls, of course, the outstanding superstar, Shania Douglas, came mm -hmm. from behind came from behind and from behind. won. Yeah, she was she was actually behind. She was behind who, who Frederick. Was leading? Who was leading? Frederick from Trinidad was leaving, leading. That, that and she, twin? Yes, the twin that won last year. They she was leading. The, the, those twins are very quick. Yes, yeah, she came off the she came off the bend leading, but of course Shania Douglas showed class and you know and determination and with that 400 meter strength and that speed, you know, that she has, she was able to deliver. And Sabrina Dockery got another medal, a bronze medal there. The under 20 boys, of course, Gary Card put down a super, super performance running a PB, a personal best of 20.60. So I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah, but you know, we jump in the gun and we never talk about the Sabrina that 100 meter versus Terry Langer. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, well, that is one of the races that we should talk about. Yeah. Keep in the comment section, the drop on the thoughts and that. We want to think about that. And, you know, we you know, can call you, you know, man. You can call you, you know, we can have a conversation. They can call, in, call you, right? Or they have to call me. Call you. <laughs> But yes, that 100 meter with Sabrina Dockery and Tiana Lee Terrellong, it was, it was mouth watering. It was, and you know, I, I see a nice little rivalry brewing there and I like it. I like it because it's clean. It is clean fun. And I see the energy um, with the young ladies. So Sabrina Dockery, for those of you who don't know, Sabrina Dockery actually picked up the 100 meter just this season. You know, just this season, she decided to step down to the 100 meters. And of course, she she showed class, she showed talent. And so with her and Terry Long, it's one, you know, one all because Terry Long won a champs at Boys and Girls Champs. And of course, Sabrina Dockery turned the table on her winning the HB. international medal yes sir HB. i think you know the coach for sabrina Dockery should get a lot of praise you know we tend to to give you know the adrenaline michael dyke and the, and, mm -hmm. and the ideal coach you know most they get most of the praise but we're not looking at what sabrina Dockery did in that race that make made her be, became big, victorious all right look at her start her start in that race was immaculate flawless flawless mm -hmm. you know her drive phase and when she came out of that drive phase she was just moving away and terrell could not catch her back it's so normally 60 meters in the race 70 meters in the race terrell starts to pull them back in but on this occasion 11.26 couldn't catch by Sabrina Dockery. We have to give the coach a, 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 you know, some ratings. And it's funny, it's funny that you say that. I totally agree with you. And if we if we look at most of these quarter milers who are stepping down to the shorter races, we have not had a disappointment yet. When you look at Usain Bolt, when you look at Sharika Jackson. You know, when you look at those people who move from, when you look at even Fred Curley, you know, from the United States, when you look at those people who step down from the 400 to the 100, they're just a, a nightmare to ordinary sprinters. They have become a nightmare. Yeah, it, you know. It, <laughs> but her start, man, her start you have to is... remember the 400 meter program. And once you do a 400 meter program, yeah. Um, you can go high or you can go low. Yeah. Most of the time you can go low. Um, the, most of my training is surrounded by a 400 meter program. So my, at my, when I was a kid 
teaching at high school or coaching at high school, you know, most of my athletes go on a four base program. So it's easy for them to go high and go low. I mm -hmm. think that's the key. Sometimes as a coach, I use that. But not every athlete though will, will can do a four base program. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you have to just know, you have to just balance. Yeah. You know, and so and so far we're getting it right because we've even seen where all right, look at Alea Baker. Let us talk about Alea Baker. Alea yeah. Baker is a quarter miler and she's a quarter hurdler. And she too stepped down to the sprint this year and did um outstand, outstandingly well, brilliantly well in the sprint, winning the double at champs. So there's something about quarter milers when they decide to move into the sprints. It it is just um remarkable. You have to remember, you, have to remember, you know, we're not doing the 400 meter. You need speed. You need speed because how the 400 meter goes, the first 15 or first 50 meter, you want to that to be your fastest because no matter how you think that when you reach a 200 meter mark, you can go faster than the first 50. No, you cannot. The first 50 must be the fastest. Yeah. Then once you get at the fastest, then that curve there going down to the back stretch. You want to float and maintain that speed. And then at the 200 meter mark, you start to step up the pace a little and see if you can carry that pace through. So once you master that, you can you 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 you'll be able to win a 400 meter. And it also teaches you to maintain your speed. So in your acceleration phase of 100 meter, it becomes easier and you're at a better advantage because you practice to maintain your speed at a longer distance at the 400 meter event think about in, it actually. indeed indeed and and even if we were on quarter mile as um as sprinters even christopher taylor who was um who is a quarter miler he was the joint record holder for the junior the national junior 100 meters so right yeah, so there is something uh, Lansford, Lansford Lion is saying. What about Bramwell? He was a 1-2 at the start of his career, and he broke the record. Ah, there you go. There you go. Bramwell is another one. Even though he started in the reverse, he started with the sprints, and now he is an outstanding quarter miler. And, of course, we're going to get to him when we look at the 400-meter Osman Dixon is saying, in class three, coaches and athletes still trying to find what works. That is true. They're still trying to find that fit for the athletes. So although the athletes running 400, potentially it may not be their best event. And, and that's true, Ozzy. We've seen where a lot of athletes started out running one thing, but as they go up in class, then they um they switch they switch event okay so let us look at the 400 meters mr unseen yes 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 and i was distracted look, yes i realized that sir please let us keep it here the 400 meters <laughs> yes, so <Take> a, <laughs> we had we had the audience waiting long enough so it is all about them now it's all about them now <laughs> let us look at the 400 um natasia fletcher from heidel man whoa, whoa, she whoa, was whoa. outstanding heidel, she right was, yes whoa she and is outstanding outstanding yes it's 16. yeah Nikai Bromwell, the under-17 boys, I mean, he was just super. What can we say about him? Anybody who erased Usain Bolt from the record Did he, book did he get is, the Aston Celia Award? No, Trinidad, a young lady from Trinidad got How it. Come? Well, she jumped, what, six, over six, six meters or something like that? Yeah, but Bramwell won what? How many gold medals Bramwell won? Yeah, that's the thing about the Austin Sealy Award. And when I heard it, when I heard Ricardo Chambers, I think it was Ricardo Chambers I heard said it in commentary. There's really no set merit. criteria. No merit on it. And that don't make any sense. If you're going to give an award, there must be a set of criteria. 
um, that are met. And, and it is so funny when he said, um, it is just based on the selection, the selectors who they think deserve it. And I don't think, when I heard it, I said, this don't make any sense to me. If you're going to be presenting an award, there must be a guideline. There must be criteria. Must be a rubric. Must be right. A rubric. There must be something in order for you to be considered for that event. So for it to be I don't merit, know. You know, of merit. You know, don't, yeah. I don't have any merit. I don't yeah. really. I, I don't like when things are left up to people's feelings because sometimes people's feelings do the wrong thing. So I prefer to know that, okay, there are a set of criteria and these were made. Even, even at the, the Academy Award, the Oscar Award, you know, the Grammys. You have to meet criteria in order to be awarded. So, uh, Javon is my. Javon is my. Javon is. Yeah. He's a coach. You want to take? You want to take that comment from him? Is he a coach? Javon is my. No, I think he's was an athlete. I'm not sure. I remember you have a smite that run for us at the Cariff Yeah, Mushet. that's smite from okay. Mushet. Yeah. No, but, this is not him. This this person is. Javonia. I know he's not, know he's not the uh, uh, yeah, okay. well, maybe related to yes, the young lady that won the Austin Sealy Award, she jumped six point five meters. Thank you very much, Giovanni. Oh, I'm saying smite cousin. Oh thank you so much. Oh, it's smite cousin. Okay, very interesting. <laughs> thank you for that. So looking at the four hundred, as we said, Nicole Bromwell erased Usain Bolt from the records book and anybody is not is not any and anybody get to erase Usain Bolt from a record book so if if you erase Usain Bolt from a record book it means that you have done something spectacular and that was what Nikoi Bramwell from Calabar did the under 20 girls uh we got second and third that race was something Abigail Campbell got the silver medal and Sean Q Williams. I have to big up Sean Q Williams. She Sean Q, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean Q put on a good, she had a good championship. She was fearless. She was flawless. She went out there and she did the job. So anybody who knows Sean Q Williams from St. Elizabeth Technical, just big her up, please. She 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 turned up for the team and she ran an outstanding first leg in that four by four hundred meters relay. And the under 20 boys, 400 meter, Marcina Rose got the silver medal. And of course, Javon, Javon Pinnock wasn't able to contest the race because he false start. So that was Whoa. what happened in the 400 meters. But the spectacular thing that happened was Nikoi Bramwell erased Usain Bolt from the record book. So the, the record is still in Jamaica, but not by Usain Bolt anymore. The new record holder for the under 17, 400 meters is Nikoi Bramwell. Now to the 400 meter hurdles, or do you want no. to take an event? Do, do you want to look at a specific event? I think we can look at the the, the fifteen fifteen hundred. Know what we dominated, you know. Before um, we go to the fifteen, I need you <laughs> to look at the eight hundred meters because when we did this show last Friday, Friday the um the leading up to the championship, a lady called in and she said, "Look out for my nephew in the eight hundred meters." Yes, you know I never remember. Kelly, Mister Kelly won. The 800 meters. So, congrats to you. That Auntie. was the second day, right? Yes. Second day. No, the 800 meters was uh, the last day. That was yesterday. The well, last day. Yes. So, we have to big up that aunt that called to tell us to look out for her nephew. Thank you very much. One Jamaica. It doesn't matter where in the world you are. It is one Jamaica. And he went out there and he delivered and he copped a gold medal for Jamaica. Big, 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 big things. Yeah, man. A big, big something. Big, yes. big something. Jamaica, I don't normally um, yeah. 
the well in, in that in that in that event, you know. Well, we have been doing we have been doing well in the eight hundred and the fifty in the middle and the long distance, which I want to talk about when we finish with the events. So you just want to quickly go through I'm talking like for example, you know, the the, the, the grassroots going up to the seniors. We're not seeing a lot of Jamaican men. And hold women. that thought, hold that thought. We're going to talk about that after. I have okay. that to talk about, and I'm going to ask you as a coach what it is that we need to do in order to find a system to channel these middle distance athletes in. So let us look at the 800 and then we we move. All right. So, you know, we, we have to start with the boys because, you know, that 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 that, that parent call, right? Anyone and you want to start with? Talk about Kian J. Kelly. And Kian J. Kelly is age 16. And he ran a time of 1 minute 56.31 seconds to win the guy. 1 he's minute at. 56 or 1 minute 51? 1 minute 56. So I'm seeing right here. Okay, okay, okay. That's the under 17, right? Mm hmm. Right. So 1 minute 56.31 seconds um, to be Persad, who was going on well in the race as well from Guyana. 1 minute 56 53. Um, you know, Alejandro Palmer from Jamaica got bronze as well, one fifty eight point zero five. Grenada, the O's was fourth. You know, you know, Grenada Ali is getting the twelve man behind them HB. Mm -hmm. uh, boot them up whenever they're running, you know. So they get that extra gear. You understand me? It was fun to watch the Grenada at least um running as well. <laughs> but all the accolades go to K and J Kelly. I uh, remember the lady talk and say, Hey. Look like out for him. Like me, like we are now called a nephew. Never name me now. Yeah, man. And if you call him name, man, make sure you call him name. Can you listen to the program? You know. Indeed, you indeed. Yeah. Yeah. So big up Ken J. Kelly, wonderful performance. I think he went down and ran a really really as well, right? Yes, I think he was in the four by four. No, for the girls section. So for the girls, Jamaica got a quinella on the in the under 80, under 17. Sorry, Jamaica got a quinella, yep, with Kevin Gay Fowler and Ali K Reynolds. Jamaica got a quinella there, outstanding, outstanding, outstanding. Kevin stuff. Fowler, mm -hmm. Ali K Reynolds, then the Grenadian Ali capturing that bronze medal. So for all the people, she's age 15. If you don't, you never know. Alike as well is age 15. Um, and she's under 17. For a time of two minutes, 16.97 for a female running at that age, running that time is quite so, so, it's quite good. Um, Alike, two minutes, 17.02. Um, it's good as well. Grenada doing well. I like to see the, 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 the Caribbean countries getting better because I want to see the competition more stiff. I want to see. You know, I, I would love to see they're putting pressure on Jamaica still. But they people. did they did put some pressure on us um this time around. I must say Grenada and Guyana really add some flavor and Cayman in that one two in the one hundred meters for under twenty boys with um Jaden Reed that we are used to formerly of Jamaica College. He he practically grew up in Jamaica. You know, so that was a good look for Cayman. Um, <laughs> Guyana, was it Guyana or Grenada that won the under 20 boy and girls 400 meters? So we did put, we did get a little pressure on us. But of course, we are not soft. Keep going. Real. We're not soft. We're not soft. We're good. Yeah. We're, you know, um, you're in the Trinidad and Natalie talking about, you know, you're soft. <laughs> So maybe it's just semantics. Know, but you know something, I when he said them Jamaicans, but it seems as if everybody is training to defeat Jamaica, whether it's on the the senior level or the junior level, is like we are the Jamaica is the I don't want to say the bait, but it's like everybody seemed to be coming after Jamaica. It doesn't matter where in the world they are because I was watching a video recently with Don Harper. And for you young people who don't know Don Harper, 
Dawn is an American hurdler, Olympic champion, and she was talking about a race. And she said when she lined up in the race, the person that she saw was Delorene Ennis London, our own Delorene Ennis London. And she said she was saying in her mind, this Jamaica not beating me today. So it seems as if anywhere Jamaica line up in track and field, somebody is coming after us. So let them keep coming. Let them keep you're coming. You're right, HP. You're right. You know, we set that president's order that, hey, you have to come good to beat us. You have yeah, to yeah. Work hard and we seem to be, no, as far as I'm concerned, it is Jamaica versus the world. Because to... everybody, everybody is coming after those Jamaicans. Those Jamaicans, they're coming for. I see people out there practicing relay. Some countries start practicing relay already. People are running relay already because they're coming after us. So yes. we cannot become complacent and just think that because we have the fastest people, we don't have to practice. You know, we have to get in because everybody coming after us. And but I, I, I love it though. I love it. So you said you it, wanted. It's... To talk about the, the 1500 meters? meters. Yes. Jama let me talk, let me tell the seven. audience, let me tell the audience, in case they did not know, Jamaica clean sweep all the 1500. Oh. Jamaica clean sweep the 1500 meters. And if you don't know what I mean by clean sweep, what I mean is that they won all the gold medals in the 1500 for 1500 meters and jamaica a matter yeah, of fact God. in all the 1500 meters jamaica got three quinellas and one one three so we got three quinellas which is first and second gold and silver and we we got one one three which is gold and bronze take it away mr unseen <laughs> So, in the boys under 17, 1500 meter final, Shamar Green, age of 16, Jamaica. Time, 4 minutes 11, 91. Wendell Bade from Aruba, 4 minutes 12, 80. And Sikani Brown from Jamaica, with that bronze medal, 4 minutes 15.21. He's the one, is that, that's the only race, right, HP? In our collection that we got mm -hmm. first that's and correct. bronze. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Yes, that's so, correct. Yeah. So, Jamaica did well in that one. Grenada, the host team was fourth in that race. Um, so I think Grenada did well in my in, in my estimation mm -hmm. as well. In the under 20 for boys, he's the hundred meter final. Kimario by a grave, 19 years old, Jamaica, three minutes fifty-eight point one zero. Jake one coke, 19 years as well. Jamaica, three minutes fifty-eight point three eight seconds. Bermuda, not hear a lot about Murray Bermuda in the in, in the championship, but Bermuda got that bronze medal HP Jake Brislane. 3 minutes 58.83 in the, that race. Wonderful performance there by Bermuda capturing that bronze medal. Trinidad and Tobago, for, uh, you know, they, I think they had a, a late surge getting medals because after the first day with no gold medals on their name and Trinidad, they were trying to get themselves on the podium still, you know? <laughs> uh, so. Under 17 girls now. So under 17 girls. I am trying to find that result right here. The gold medal went to Jamaica, Dahlia Fairweather. Dahlia Fairweather from and Jamaica. And Ali K. Reynolds. Ali K. Reynolds. Yes. Four minutes Quinella. 40, four minutes 45.86 from Dahlia Fairweather. Ali K. Reynolds, 15 years old as well. Four minutes 46.14. And Shane Lewis from Shane and Tobago. She got the bronze medal. Four minutes forty-eight point five eight seconds. Um, so, people, Jamaica. I'm telling you, Jamaica in the 1500 meter. It impressed me not HB because we don't normally do well in these events, you know. And I am it, so impressed. I am so impressed with that this. If we focus on these events, we can, yep. you know, we can achieve in these events. What's your thought? I totally agree. And I have it to talk about after we stop looking at some of those events, because I am one of those people who have been calling out for a system to a system that our middle and long distance 
student athletes can have a home. We have a lot of clubs in Jamaica, but of course, the focus is, and we've seen it in the result, the focus is the sprints. And we need to have a system so that these youngsters who are leaving high school, if they don't want to go to college, if they did not get a scholarship to college, they can um, transition into that system that is between high school and going pro so that their talent can be further developed. Because in case a lot of people don't realize Jamaica's um, legacy in track and field at the highest level did not start in the sprints. We started in the 800 meter. 1948, we won a silver medal at the Olympic Games in London. We came back four years after and we won another silver medal at the Olympic Games. The other medals came from the 400 meter, the four by four. The first time Jamaica won a medal in the 100. Well, at that time it was a 100 yard. It was Mr. Herb McKinley, 1952, at the 1952 Olympic Games. He won a silver medal. So our, our rich legacy that we're embracing now, and we love it and everything, it started with the middle distance and the quarter mile. So if we do not have a home or a system for these junior athletes to transition into, we're going to be losing them. And we are losing them. The sport is losing them because there's really nowhere for them to go to develop their craft. So this that I saw, I said, no, I have to talk about this <laughs> one more time because we need a home for our middle distance and long distance. Another thing, all right, before we talk about that, let us look at the relay that we clean sweep, the four by four relays, and we won four three. By four? Yeah, we clean sweep the four by four relays, all four, and we got three gold, three goals, and a silver in the under 20 with the under 20 boys in the sprints. That again is another good look. Nine relays, and Jamaica won seven. Mm -hmm. that's more than a good look mm -hmm. that's more than a, a good look yes, and um, yes, yes. before we go any further you want to read some of those comments Lance yeah, Ford Lions, Kino Prince so we can go back and look at some comments you know because you know the fans they need, they need to yeah we have to include the audience because they waited on us tonight for one hour so Osman, and... so Osman, hold on Oh, um, Prince came on and said 800 meters need some work um, Kino said Prince have to go work with distance race. The pace are too slow. Palmer almost lose them brands. Read the Austin Seal Award World World Athletics Ranks. MSB gains. Chin and Tobago performance of 6.5 meter at 108 points versus Bramwell's 47.27 at 1027 points. Unseen late and still distracted. Whoa, you thank you very much. The audience was, should have never seen that you're distracted. It sir. was Don't part let it of the four by four. Prince of Martin ran new PB of 51.34. Second finish, second seconds finished second in his U20 400 meter earliest final. Snacksy and smiling. One Kino troublemaker. <laughs> Don Harper Nelson, you are talking about. Yes, warm. I was talking about Don Harper. Yeah. Warm to U20 boys, 800. What, what happened to U20 boys, 800? Oh, you never thought about it. Trinidadian at least comment, put it down to exuberance and a tight ignorance. <laughs> yeah, because That's how it. can you say, how can you call a country soft that has been dominating this event, this championship for more than 40 years? This championship started 1972. 1972, the character game started, and Jamaica have been dominating consecutively for more than 40 years. And we continue to dominate. The amount of medal that we won, we could have issued a medal to other people and still win. Yeah, we could have given some of them. We could have given an extra gold medal to So that young man that made that talk, and the thing is that he won, he won that gold medal because the Jamaican athlete 
pulled up in that race. If you go back and you watch, if you go back and you watch, he actually limp across the finish line. I don't even know how he medal in that condition. So, but but as I said before, everybody's coming after Jamaica. And what I realize when Jamaica is defeated is a big deal for other athletes. The way how they celebrate, they don't worry about anybody else. But the minute they defeat Jamaica, it is a big deal to them. And it, it just shows that we are at a level. We are at a certain level that people just want to, you know, to be in our company. And that's fine. That's fine. But somebody was asking about the under 20 boys, 800. That race was won by the outstanding Mr. Bygrave. Yes, Bygrave. <laughs> yes. Wonderful performance by Bygrave. Oh, know? yes. He, he went home with three gold medals. Three gold medals he went home with. Outstanding. Lance Fernandez says, Shock on God, redeem himself, one goal. Oh, oh, wow. Shock oh, uh, Osman Dixon is saying, 1960 Olympics, George Carr representing a West Indies team with a bronze medal was fourth in 1964 Olympic in the same event. Never my turn set a junior world record in the 800 meter in 1964 we are at class you see this is what i like you know i like the history because sometimes we don't realize that where we're coming from is the middle distance and the quarter mile sprinting for me, sprinting did not come into place really until Donald Quarry in 1976. Even though we won, um, as I said before, Mr. McKinley, when he won, it was the 100 meter yard. He won uh, a silver medal. And then, of course, Mr. Carr won, George Carr won um, a silver in 1968, I think. No, 1972, and then a bronze, I think, in 1976, something like that. But the sprints did not come into place until in the 70s. So let us look at the 40s where we are coming back, and we need to get it right. But before we have that discussion, the relays, let's talk about my weak spot. My weak spot is the relays. Four by four, girls on the 17th. Jamaica A team, Brittany De Bailey, Natasha Fletcher, Kevon Gay Fowler, and Trisha Lee Sutherland won gold in that 4x4 four four girls under 17. Three minutes, 41, 84. HP, what do you have to say about that? <laughs> uh, let me tell you, Jamaica, um, our juniors, our juniors are outstanding at really these youngsters. When you look at the baton passes, when you look at their form, when you look at how business-like they look, it is amazing. And I'm not just talking about the character. When you watch them at the Gibson McCook Relay, when you watch them at Champs, when you watch them at Penn's Relay, a matter of fact, when you go to the Penn's Relay, if it's eight teams in the final, there's seven Jamaican high school in the final. And I'm, I'm not making that up. That's true. You know, our, our youngsters, our juniors, they are outstanding with the baton. And they just deliver every time. And, I mean, I was watching and it was just gold medal after gold medal after gold medal. Like in, a gold medal. Yeah, in the relays. And they all, they all, they all did very well. And... My little thing with the relay is, and I'm going to talk about it further down, but um, maybe we can touch it. No, no. But before we go to that, I want us to look at some field events, medals and result. And I have to thank Kino, Kino for this. Kino put all of this information together for me. All the medals, we got 26 plus and I'm going to say 26 plus in the event I missed something. But we got 26 medals in the field. Thank you very much, Kino, for putting this together for me. The under 17 boys, we got bronze in the long jump with um, 
Radiki Walters. In the triple jump, we got silver with um, Amani Phillips. In the shot put, uh, Javante Smith, gold. In the discus, Javante Smith and Kamari Kennedy got a quinella, and that is just the under 17. When you look at the under 20 boys, the under 20 boys got uh, gold, um, Chef's pen, if that is co the correct pronunciation, high jump gold, uh, long jump gold from Rikoi Hunter. Let me tell you, I was watching Rikoi Hunter's um, long jump and that young man on his last jump stole the gold medal. Rikoi Hunter on his final, final jump. In the triple jump, Jamaica got a quinella with um, Chef's Pen again and Romaine Lewis. In the discus, Shaquan Dunn from Jamaica College and Chad Hendricks, another quinella. And of course, the shot put, Shaquan Dunn again, gold. And those are the medals from the boys. And I want to count how many medals the boys got in the field. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve medals in the field from the boys. That is remarkable, remarkable, remarkable. The girls know. Uh, I'm not hearing you, sir. Unseen, you're muted. Okay, okay. Sorry about that. Your top, top, top performance in the field. Indeed, um, indeed, indeed. And I think, you know, I think at the international, at the, the senior level, I think the coaches at senior level should look at this and say, hey, you know, if we really in, in, in invest in these other areas, and not only looking at the, the, the um the prestige races, we can really enhance the, the brand of Jamaica in our different different events. Before we even get to that discussion, because I'm just eager to start having that discussion, let us look at the girls in the field. The under 17 girls got uh one, one, two, three, four, five, six medal, the under 17 girls alone, the long jump. Sashana Johnson, uh, she won silver in the triple jump. Jada Robinson and Xavier Bernard, gold and bronze. In the high jump, Xavier Bernard, Xavier Bernard, gold. So she got a gold and a bronze. In the shot put, in the shot put and discuss, we got double gold from Jamali, Jamila Young double gold, the shot put and the discus. The under 20 girls, high jump was Rashida Samuels. Uh, I think we got a Quinella in that. In the under 20 long jump, Roshana Sudlow got silver. In the triple jump, Richelle Stanley and Dejane Bruce got gold and bronze. In the shot put, Shamika Smith, gold. In the discuss, in the discuss, Dejan De Shaw, Dejan Shaw, I hope I get it right, <laughs> and, and Najea Seymour got gold and bronze. Now listen to this. In the javelin, we won a bronze medal. Of course. We are from, from Zoe Lee Jamel. Our Zoli, Zoli, Jamel. Uh, That's the name. That's the a, name. A bronze medal. So going to that discussion now, I am um, we need to look at track and field um as a whole and not just look at a part of it. The sprints is not the only um element of track and field and i've seen people dominate the field and get just as much glory as sprinters now we have uh, so excuse me the, i said they are too they are to get the glory as well no it's not hard to get it if you're dominating no, no, i said they, they must get it. I, I mean they must get glory as well just like this. yes yeah. they do if you look at duplantis i mean the glory that he's getting if you look at rojas in in the um triple jump for women i mean 
you can get glory anywhere once you come with your A game. It doesn't matter which event you're in. Mafara in the 5,000 and 10,000 got his glory. Bekele in the, in the, in the, in the, in the 5 and 10. The Dibaba sisters defar from, from, you know, Ethiopia and Kenya. Rodisha, um, got his glory in the 800 so it doesn't matter where you land you will get your glory and we need to start opening our mind to track and feel to the entirety of track and field because we have some outstanding juniors that are leaving high school but guess what the problem is there's no system to put them in there's no system to put them in. So they either walk away from the sport or they try another event. And, you know, and every time a championship come around, we say, how come Jamaica don't have anybody in the 5,000? How come Jamaica don't have anybody in the 1,500? But if we are not, if the talents are not being developed after they leave high school, they're not going to get there. So we no. have to find a way to develop these talents and not wait or depend on other people, other countries to develop our talent. Your thoughts, sir? Yeah, I, feel, I, I share the same sentiments that you share. I think that's the, that's the way forward if you want to tap into the different events and so on, um, HP. And it's just, you know, we can do it. You know, we just, we just need to, to just, just, just um, try it. No, nothing beat a try, but I feel that we just need to just try. Just put in some work in that area, and so it goes. It can. It can work. It worked before, but remember, with anything, you have to put in the work. The great Usain Bolt said, I trained four years to run nine seconds, or 9.58 seconds. Four years. <laughs> so you just have to put in the work and be patient you have to be patient it can work because that was where we started out you understand i could understand if we have a system to train middle distance or long distance athletes and we fail but we cannot say we fail and we have not tried because when we look at all the clubs um you hardly see where an 800 meter runner is coming out of any clubs so you see quarter up. milers, you see quarter milers, but you're not seeing a 400 or 800 really coming to the fore from, from any of our clubs. And no, I'm not knocking any clubs, but what I'm saying, if this club is concentrating on sprinting and they are getting it right, try, try another part of the sport. No, try because we need it. We need it. Now, the mixed relay. Are we taking the mixed relay seriously? No, no, no. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're not taking I want mixed. you to take that one because the mixed relay, are we taking the mixed relay seriously? I don't think we are as a country. No, HP. We're not. We're not. You know, um, I think we just... Entering and what in our feet in that event, we're not really sitting down and really calculating tactically how we go win, win, win one of these events. We're just not. And we need to start to look at that event and try to go, on, go, go, after, go after it. In yeah, our, I, I don't see why. I don't even see why we in, should it's be in, losing. It's in the youth, youth under 20, right? That event is in the youths. Uh, I think it's right, in the, is it in the world juniors? I think so. Yes. Yes, it is. It is. It is. But when I look at the mixed relay, even at the senior level, I don't know. I don't think we're taking it seriously enough because there's no mm -hmm. way we should not be making finals or be, be left off at the podium with the depth that we You can that see the have. type of players, the type, not player, type of athletes that they use in those events. They're not really using the best. I've so seen like, I've seen the Netherlands put their listen, I've seen the Netherlands put their A team in the mixed relay. I've seen the Dominican Republic put their A team out there. I've seen Bahamas put their A team in the mixed relay and win. Right. And medal. 
Last year at the World Championship, unfortunately, um, Fenke Ball, she fell. But she was going for a world record in, 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 in the mixed relay. And Fenke Ball, her workload at a championship is so heavy. Yet she was still on. She was still on the mixed relay team. Now, the mixed relay is run the first, I think the first or second day of a championship that goes on for 10 days. Mm -hmm. So tell me oh. now, why is it that we cannot put a better team out for the mixed relay and these same people rest, especially if they just go to the championship to run relay? Why is it that we cannot put those people to run on day one and then rest them to come and run day eight? You tell me why. Uh, you know, each coach of them style. No, uh, no, I don't want to hear that. I, I don't want to hear each coach of them style. The mixed relay is a part of the championship. And I think we can do better at it. I'm saying you carry three people to run individual races. I don't expect to see them in the mixed relay, even though... Other countries have used their top people. Paulina from the Dominican Republic, she was in the mixed relay that they won at the World Championship to 2022. She was on that. Fenke Ball, who has 400 meter and 4 by 4 duties, she was on the Netherlands team this year. Shane Miller, Weibo, who has 400 meter duties, she was on the Bahamas mixed relay team so I, I i don't know i don't get it i really i really don't get it i don't get it yeah 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 you know the interest the interest is the key though hp i don't think any interest we can't is there, and yes? speculate, you know the interest but there's no interest though. i cannot say that there's, there's no, interest. no interest uh when you look at when you look at how it is being done i'm like We don't, we don't, as far as I'm concerned, we don't care about the, the mixed relay. Yeah, we don't care. Next thing now, okay, we have this discussion already where I had another question where I said, we did exceptionally brilliant in the middle distance and we need to have a program. We need to have a system to, so when those athletes leave high school, if they don't get to go to university, they I can go in... Pro, yeah. The pro, pro. yeah, because the thing is that you cannot just walk out of high school and go pro. That don't work. No. You have to go through some amount of conditioning. There is a phase between high school and pro that you have to go through in order to get in the big people things. And, and we've seen that many times. Prince is saying Jamaicans aren't necessarily blessed with injuries. Yeah, we don't have a lot of injuries. We we I mean we we have injuries, but I guess they are they are manageable. They are manageable. Um all right. Ozzy Dixon is saying no interest by whom? I don't know, Ozzy. I I I, I don't know. I don't know. Because when I look at other countries, Blessings, Chris, um, Romans, welcome, welcome each and every one on the live. Cavalier Football Club, um, Jamaica, big up. Thank you for the hail up, everyone. Smite, Prince, Kino, everyone, thank you. But I don't know. I don't know. And I'm sure if we, if we do a, a Vox Pop right now in the track and field, Jamaica track and field, and ask people, what do you think? What do you think about the mix relay? Do you think we take it seriously? I'm almost sure that most people are going to say, no, I don't think so. As track and field fans. Because when, you, as I said before, when you look at other countries, they are putting out their superstar in the mixed relay. Yeah, yeah, you're right, HB, you're right about that. Was, you know, but it's just a small word. Care and interest. Small. We don't yeah. have it. All right, earlier you said something that we need to take an interest into other areas of track and field. And one of them I want to touch on is the long distance races. And the reason why I'm going to touch on it, a few people called me over the weekend and they said to me, 
how is it that Jamaica don't have anybody in these events? Why are we not doing well? And another person said, because the outstanding talents that were at Boys and Girls Champs, they are not eligible to compete because they are not Jamaicans. And somebody said to me, is it that we are neglecting our local talent, the development of our local talent in the middle and long distance to import points? Your it thoughts. It all your, goes on. It all goes your, on your thoughts on that. You're a coach. It all goes on to the same thing. I don't, I don't think um, generally we love it. We love those events. I just think that we more cling to the to the to the fast and the quicker events as a culture you know, but culture. we are the same one when championship is going on we're saying how is it that champs produce so many of these athletes and we're not seeing them we are the same one the fans are the same ones who are going to say why jamaica not in the 1500 when are we going to get jamaica more dominant in the middle and long distance races so that's what i'm saying um hp you know the coaches have to create that platform that atmosphere and the athletes as well to, you know, leaving high school. Some of them, the training is not that easy as well. Some of them really give up, give it up, and some of them don't continue with coach it, with with, with play it, with um, track and field. They move on to something different. So the atmosphere have to be there, and the, the, the love for, for to teach and the love to learn have to be there as well. And I don't think that is there. All right, Prince is saying that he strongly disagree, and he's also saying only one youth. Kemoy Campbell was internationally distance pedigree. What I'm trying to say, Prince, is that these athletes, these student athletes that we have in school who are doing the event and they, they are doing it good enough to get points, why is it that for them to be further developed, you must have somewhere, just like we go to basic school, we go to primary or prep school, we go to high school, and if we feel like, we, if we can afford it, we go to university or we start working. You cannot skip in track and field. You have, when you leave high school, you have to go somewhere before you get into the pro league so since as you're saying we don't have the international pedigree how are they going to get there if they're not being developed after they leave school at age 19. they need more development issues, so, issues, so, issues, so, issues. so if you if you have a young man running one minute 48 we know that on the international stage one minute 48 is nothing but that 1 minute 48, if that person is conditioned the right way, then you never know where they'll get. But we don't have a system to condition middle and long distance. So we cannot say that we do not have international distance pedigree. I do not agree with that because we, we have not given them a chance. That's true. You're we right. have not you're given right. them a chance, so you cannot say we don't have it. You're right, you're right, yes, you're right. You know how much talent we have in Jamaica, but because there's nowhere for them to go to be developed, they just walk away from the sport? Yeah, they just walk away and, 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 and so on, yeah? Walk away. Can't manage it no more. Look the here. <laughs> Prince Prince is saying that's because they want to join racers or MVP uh nor casey or jc can no I, do, I don't agree with that prince i think if we had a club that was for that put some focus on the middle and long distance i think we would have seen student athletes leaving high school and going into that system i don't agree with you that everybody wants to go to mvp or racers i don't agree with that i don't agree with that if we and and that's what i'm saying prince we if we have the system and nobody's using it then maybe we can talk like that but we don't have a system so we cannot be saying that we don't have the talent we have the talent but it needs to be nurtured and developed You understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, Prince, you can't want to distance and not train at all. 
No, but if no, but where are they going to go? Where are they going to go? Tell me now. Um, a young man leaving school now. He's running one minute forty-eight, and he said, "I want to further develop in the eight hundred. Tell me where he's going to go." We need a system. We need a system to you? further to further develop these talents. I'm tired of people saying, so HB, how come, how come we're producing, how come we're producing so many of these athletes? They run at champs, they do well, but yet on the big stage are only sprinters we've seen. We have to put a system in place where people can go. Let them decide if they want to go or not. Prince is saying up Winston, Jones Highway, up Blue Mountain. But is there a structured system there, Prince? Big up yourself, Pagan 180. Pagan 180, good night. Is there Big a system yourself. there, Prince? Anyway, we, we're going to solve this problem. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. This problem is going to be solved. Moving right along. Low moments. Do you have any low moments? Well, you know, I, I think the fast start though in that at the 400 meter, there was a low moment and, and the way all it, it happened. Um, you know, the, 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 the starting equipment was a low moment as well. Yeah, that was disastrous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so that was my low moment. We really have a lot. <laughs> all right. One of my low moments was um, the two Jamaicans, as we said earlier, that got injured in the 200 meter final that was a low moment for me i hope they are okay they're home and they're okay another low moment for me was gianna paul from trinidad who was doing so well well in the hip and she got injured in the 200 meters so that was a low moment because you never want to see an athlete injured even if they're not from your country it it, it 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 breaks the heart when you when you see that. So that was um, a low moment for me. Another low moment for me was blocks. I did not see this, but somebody told me that called me and said, "HP, you know, see the blocks on the on the track while the athletes run in the relay." So I don't know. The officials continued to do some little mess ups. You know, and um, another one is, as you said before, the start system was atrocious, especially on day one. The gun would not fire. That so it's was supposed, it's supposed to can turn over to the original one. Honestly. Well, I don't know. And another low moment, I was so disappointed with this one, was the under 20 boys 4x400 four meter relay, where half of the field, there was a well, they claim that there was a recall of the race and the athletes who were in the outer lane did not stop. Now, my question is, why didn't the official so, so, continuously so like fire the gun? They took, they, took out, they took away the gold medal? I don't think so. I don't think so. But no. there wouldn't be any grounds to take away that gold medal because the official is in charge of the race and... If you recall a race and you realize that some of the athletes are still running, you continuously fire that gun until everybody hears. That, that's no, what they do. Fire the gun, nobody not hear. But we didn't hear it. Did you hear it? Nobody could hear it. Gun not very good. There you go. So the system was malfunctioning from day one. So, um, you know, to take away the gold medal would not make any sense. They could not get that gold medal from me because if you recall a race, I've seen that at the stadium where they recall a race and some of the athletes keep running and the starter just continuously firing the gun until everybody stop. Yeah, man, that's true. So that's what, that's what I'm thinking that you would do. But in this case, I don't see. And I was watching. I didn't even, it's after the race I heard that. Um, the official tried to call back the race. So that was another low point for me. So that's it for my low point. Another one of my high point was the gel, the energy in the female team. 
the energy with the young ladies. I, I like that. I like that. Win, lose, or draw. They were in support of everybody. And of course, they were all having fun. Kina said, instead of the gun bus, pow, pow, it was a bus, pew, pew. But I don't know what was happening. Our prince is saying, um, Kina coach Tomlinson has produced some of the best distance runner with average athletes. Imagine he gets talented athletes. Who is coach Tomlinson? He's a distance coach? Looks so it's so. Yeah, it sounds like somebody up in the hills. Maybe we need to have a talk with Coach Tomlinson. Because we, we, need to, we need to rebuild our middle and long distance program. And even if, if we have to do it ourselves, we are going to do it. But it is going to happen. And it is going to happen very, very soon. Very, very soon. Uh, Okay, okay, okay. Good okay. question, man. Yeah. Okay, let us just quickly look at the medals. Jamaica won 84 medals. 84 medals. 45 gold medals. 35 silver and 16 bronze. A total of 84 medals. Last year, we won 78. So... It was a step up. The year before that, we won 92. So 2022, we won 92 medals. 2023, we dropped and won 78. And this year, we push it up a bit and won 84 medals. So, so we did better than last, than last time. Right, we did better than last year. So big, big congrats to the athletes and the coaches. Man, we have some outstanding coaches in Jamaica. It is, I don't think our coaches get big up enough, especially at the high school level. I don't think we talk about them a lot. And I'm going to start talking about the high school coaches more because they are doing an outstanding, outstanding job. And, you know, so big congrats to all the coaches, all the coaches. Big congrats. Yeah. And, a big, and big, con a big congrats also to all the athletes, every one of them. Big, big congrats. And, of course, we are going to be seeing these junior athletes again very soon in the Jamaican Colors at the world junior championship coming up very soon so we have the world junior championships to look forward to and of course the big one the olympic games so big up to all coaches in jamaica all the athletes all the coaches we love you know, and big up big up big up and seeing you want to take some more of those comments before we go let's see what the audience is saying yeah so 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 javani smiles so jamaica won there 38 straight character games title. Like, me have to go get a coach and start. Like, I have to go tell the coach and start. Before. Oh, get a coach and start before. And yet, you know, Prince Caban said, there is there's also, there is other winners at champs in the distance, but I can't go give you know, a list, Lala. No, no, Prince. I think Prince missing the point that we're saying. You know, what we're, we're not saying that when they're in high school, they're at their best. But what I'm saying, if you take those talents and continue to condition and develop, they will. They can become world beaters, just like the sprinters. It's the same thing with the sprinters. When the sprinters are in high school, they're not at the top of their game. They're not running. The ladies are not running. 10, 10, 7, 10, 8, 10, 6. But when you continue with the development, that is when we turn them into world beaters. And that is what I'm saying about, and I, and I have to, we have some outstanding field event coaches who are doing remarkable, remarkable things with the jumps and the throw. Julian Robinson from Calabar, he he started the thing and man, he's doing well. David Riley doing his thing. Of yeah, course. David Riley doing well. Yeah, of course. Um, Ricketts, you know, everybody, the coaches are doing outstanding. But we need to understand that track and field is 
So you have the sprints, you have the middle and the long distance, you have the jumps, you have the throws. So we need to concentrate on every every section of the if i'm if i'm if i'm starting a training club i don't want no sprinter there if you are a sprinter you are not coming through my door i'm sorry mm -mm. we already have some outstanding coaches doing the sprinting nobody else don't need to take up sprinting that's true but as i said before it's like it's like you go on a corner to buy orange and you need an orange and banana everybody selling orange nobody think about all right them people i sell orange let me sell the banana so but we're going to fix that problem remember i tell you on this show that we are going to fix that problem um very soon we'll be calling kino coach kino so you know um pauline k is saying why didn't a jamaican get the austin Sealy award what are the criteria Pauline, I love your question. I love your question. And I'm going to answer you. While we were watching, we heard from the coverage that there are no criteria for the Austin Sealy Award. And the first thing somebody turned to me and said, that don't make no sense. No sense at all. You must have a criteria in order to hand out an award you can't just feel like who you want to give I, I i don't know but that was what the commentator said there are no criteria for who win i don't know it it, it doesn't make sense but they need to put together criteria to win the austin Sealy award so that was a very good question pauline um that was one of my question too so thank you very much for that pauline and welcome Welcome to the program. If you are new, Prince is saying, if we find a coach that has found the formula, why are we sleeping on him? Where is the coach? Kino is saying, so Prince, reach out to the coach, make him. Yes, yes, Prince, reach out to the coach and let me have a talk with him because I have a coach that I'm going to talk to who coaches the middle and the long distance from a prominent high school, but I will not be talking to him based on the high school will not be the focus of our talk. It will be about what we're talking about now. So sometimes we just have to start the ball rolling and get it. But we need, I need to find somewhere to, so that these young athletes who are leaving high school, too many of them have done well at 800 meter, 1500 meter, 3000 meter, 5000 meters. And we can't even see one or two, you know, not even, not even a good handful. We can't even suit up one for each event on the global stage. No, man, that is, that is unacceptable. So we are going to fix that. Pauline again is saying we had an athlete who got three gold medals. The recipient got one gold medal and a silver yeah you're right we a matter of fact Polly, we had a few athletes that got triple gold medal because um by grave he won the 800 he won the 1500 and he won the four by four um shania douglas she won the 200 she won the four by one and she won the four by four you know so <laughs> I don't know anything, anything you're giving away, if it is left up to feelings, then, you know, we cannot leave things up to feelings because how one person feel and another person feel might not be the same way. Use criteria in order to, um, to award people. You have to use a criteria. Can you imagine you're in a company and everybody um getting some bonus at the end of the um at the end of the the quarter or the end of the half year it wouldn't make any sense you work harder than anybody else if everybody going to be getting a bonus so yeah pauline you're right again you're on the money you were watching prince is saying let's think about all of the stars to pass through karifta jamaica hardly win that award well we've had quite a few winners in the last few years because last year it was Rashawn clark 
formerly of Camperdown that won it. Before that, Brianna Williams won it, which was Brianna List, not Brianna Liston, Brianna Williams won it 2019. Was it 2019? She won the sprint double and she won the award. So I hope they are listening. They need to have some criteria. So when fans are watching or listening, fans can say, okay, so this person meet the criteria. So they win the award. You can't just take up an award, give somebody, and, you know, we don't know based on what. You know, based on what. Uh, Unseen, you want to take those other comments? I need water. You're muted. You need to unmute. You need water? Yes, I need some water, but I don't have anybody to get it for me. But anyway, I'm fine. Up, get up and get your water. No, I don't like to get up from in front of my camera. Okay. It's not something that I like to do. I've never done it, uh, uh, you know. But anyway, you can keep going, man. Um, Prince is saying there has been 51 character games. Jamaica has had 14 person winning that award. Two double winners bringing it to 16 winners for our island well prince remember there are no criteria so if i if i feel like i like this person performance over yours then i'm going to give it to him if i feel like i like kino's performance over yours i'm going to give it to kino it sounds to me like that is what is happening uh let me see what Chris Wayne, will, welcome, Chris Wayne, welcome, welcome, if you're new, welcome. Chris Wayne is saying the award is not for the amount of medals you win, but the best performance of the meet. But Chris Wayne, who, what determine the best performance of the meet? Because we had quite a few outstanding performances. Um, Nicole Bromwell, we could say, was very outstanding. He broke the record of Usain Bolt that has been standing there for over 20 years, 20 odd years. Such an outstanding. 20, 20 odd years. That record, Usain Bolt set that record, I think it was 2002, where in 2024, that's like 22 years. You know, so who decide, what decide which performance? was the best and i'm not arguing this because i'm thinking that a jamaican should win it i'm just saying have some criteria so that when you're when you're um presenting this award you can say okay hp won this award because she won this event in record time or she broke this record that has been standing for many years have something tell the audience something so that I was shocked when the commentator said um, there are no criteria to pre present this award. It's just who they think their performance was. So, ah. Uh, but um, HB, though, I think I think this 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 character was, you know, a, 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 a dominant one for Jamaica. I think there are a lot of lessons to be learned. There are, mm -hmm. ups, a, there, are, there, are, there are ups and there are downs. Um, but I think on the grand scheme of things and the bigger part of it, we should, we should, we should look at, you know, what we can improve on as a nation. Exactly. Exactly. In my opinion. So yeah. I think we did well and we are proud. I saw some pictures. I saw some, you know, at, I think they were at a place with Babsy Grange, Babs Grange and they were showing, showing their medal and so on. And to be careful that the, that the cash will go, cash will go, man, you know. My but. thing is, as you rightfully said, we, and this is why we need to do post-mortem. We need to do... Post-mortem. Yes, we need to look at the championship. Look at where we are strong. Look at where we are weak and try to improve on the weaknesses going forward. And... It's, it's, it is too long now that Jamaican fans are, every time there's a championship, so why Jamaica can't have somebody in a day 800? What about this person that win a champs? What about that person? No, we have um, a young lady. We have Adele. Adele, who is in the 800 meters with Natalia Gould and the 1500 meter. We have Navaski Anderson 
in the male 800, but I still think we can have more people in those events. But if, we, if we're not developing the talents that are leaving high school, a lot of them, look at even the javelin. Let us look at the only athlete that has gone to the Olympics for Jamaica in the javelin. She was coaching herself. And she created history. She's a history maker for Jamaica. Now, when these young people leave high school, if they don't have anywhere to go to develop their talent, they're going to get frustrated and, and just walk away from the sport. I know athletes who left high school like a few years ago, two, three years ago, and they have walked, walked and they've, um, they've walked away from the sport because they're frustrated. They don't know where to go to develop their talent. They don't know where to go. They're 800 meter, 1500 meter. When you ask them, they're like, miss, nobody know how to train, you know. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they get frustrated and they just leave the sport and go and do something else. We have to give them a choice. We have to give them a choice. The other day I was having... How much, coach, how much coach out here wanted to take on that? No, but, but hold on there. But just like train, just like having a track club for sprinters, quarter milers, jumpers, it would be the same as having for 800 and 1,500 people. It's just that you will have to be a little bit more creative to ensure that the athletes that you're conditioning, they can find high altitude to go and run so that when they come low is not a problem for them um prince said earlier blue mountain but people can't just go up a blue mountain go run you need a coach that is able to write your program make sure that they um know about nutrition and all these things they know how to unload and offload you can't just go train yourself to become a world beater in 800 or 1500 meter you know, um, Kino is saying HP Prince is going to reach out to the coach and you are going to reach out to one and we have to go and solve this. I totally agree. Let us do it ourselves. We're not going to wait on anybody. I prefer we do it and fail than we don't do it. And every year we have the same discussion. When the Olympic Games come around, we're going to hear people with this discussion again. When is Jamaica going to have somebody in this event? Or have more people in this event? As we get closer to the Olympics and emotions are in the air and everything get high, it is going to come up again. So... We are going to solve this problem. And I'm dead serious. The only way I don't solve this problem is if I die tonight. <laughs> but you're I not, would, you're not gonna die. And I'm and you're I don't too, think I'm going to die. Too, you're too sweet. Well, you know something? Anything is possible, you know, because people dying in them sleep these days. It's it's you're scary to go to sleep sometimes. You're not dying for no. But on a serious note, we, we, we need to we need to to do something. Jamaica is <laughs> A big deal and everybody want to defeat jamaica and the celebration the celebration when people defeat jamaica it is you can't even get upset with them you can't even get upset and that young man from trinidad when he said jamaica the, he trained to beat them jamaican to call jamaican soft and i'm like is he watching the medal table is he looking at the events to see that Jamaica clean sweeping, not just an event, not just a podium in one race, but an entire event that has four races? He's not so hard one, but he's blind. He's, 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 he feels good. I, he goes with a man head, and those people say, yo, he beat Jamaica. Yeah, I'm good. But you yeah, know, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy that they are motivated. The rest of the Caribbean is motivated by Jamaica. I'm I'm happy to see that. And let me tell you, Grenada, Grenada really turn up as the host um, country and give the fans something to cheer about. And Guyana, Guyana did well. I think, I think Guyana, Guyana was second. Where did Trinidad finish on the medal table? Let me check. I think it was fourth. 
Let me just quickly check that before we go. I have it right here, medal table. Medal table, where is it? Okay, yeah, we here we are. Okay, the Bahamas finished second, Jamaica first, the Bahamas second, Trinidad and Tobago third, Guyana fourth, Guadalupe, Guadalupe was fifth. No, that's not true. Sorry. No, no, no. Wrong thing I'm looking at. I think that's, that is the second. Yes, it is correct. Yep. Yep. Guadalupe was fifth. Guyana was fourth, Guadalupe fifth, fifth. Uh, Virgin Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands, six. Grenada, the host country, was seventh. Cayman, eighth. Antigua and Barbuda, ninth. And St. Lucia, the country of the outstanding Jeline Alfred, was ten. So those are the top ten. But all in all, it was a good championship for Jamaica again, of course. And we've seen where some other islands turn up and some outstanding individual performances like Michelle Smith. Michelle Smith, she did, she did um, an outstanding job. The Frederick sisters, they, they also put on a show. But of course, it was about... Team Jamaica, but at the end of the day, it's one Caribbean. Thank you very much, Pauline. Pauline said four. Thank you very much for that. So, unseen, any other thoughts before we go? Let's see what Chris Wayne. All right, let's read some more of these comments. Um, I, don't any, I, don't any, I don't have any more thoughts. No? You don't have any more thoughts? Okay, Chris Wayne is saying Jamaica soft, but wholesale of. <laughs> Chris Wayne, not. Chris Wayne is saying Jamaica soft, but wholesale of Trini came to Jamaican school to run at Champs. Good point. Good point, Chris Wayne, because a lot of the athletes that ran at Champs, we saw them running at the Carifta Games. In, indeed, we saw even um, Bryson from Calabar. He was in the 800 meter uh osman dixon is saying the middle and long distance situation a discussion that requires a full program i totally agree with you ozzy and we are going to have a program on it very soon look out for it i have a matter of fact as soon as i come off this live i'm supposed to be making contact with that coach who is a middle long distance coach to just to pick his brain on, on certain things um, coming up soon. But Thursday night, when I have my usual show, I'm going to have um, a three-time Olympian from the 60s, Miss Vilma Charlton, will be here on Thursday to tell us about her journey in track and field and giving back to Jamaica to this day, she is giving back to the sport. So, Miss Vilma Charlton. So, guys, remember to join me here. But tomorrow is Thursday. Oh, my word. So, tomorrow night, I'll be back here with three time Olympian, Miss Vilma Charlton. Any other comment before we go? Uh, Prince is saying three nation, nascent athletes here Bahamas, Barbados and trinidad three nations nascent athletes of course we have trini athletes here um prince um what's her name is from trinidad what's uh fox that's her name the hurdler from edwin allen mm -hmm. uh another aussie saying i am aware of coach of one of the top clubs who had two or three decent 800 prospects and he the young man just quit oh wow we we have to find a way to to keep them if they want to be kept uh any other comment um okay i think that's it all right let's see what kino is saying okay Dorian Charles and LeBron James at GC 
are from Trinidad. Yeah, we do have Trini. We have Trini. We have Trini. We have Cayman. I think we have most of the islands. We have most of them, but I can do a research on it just to be. But Natasha Fox, who attends Edwin Allen, she is from Trinidad. She ran at Carifta last year. So there we have it, guys. There we have it. Thank you very much for staying with us to look at the Carifta Games and once more showing some love to our junior athletes who, you know, they, they are just some superstars. They are just some superstars. And they look so businesslike and so professional. And we just have to keep encouraging them. And a big, big congrats to the coaches also, all the coaches who have helped to condition these athletes. Thank you very much for being here. And thank you guys for staying with us, even when certain people cause caused us to be one hour late you stay i won't call any name but thank you guys for hanging out with us and when kina said tell unseen to reach early next day yeah no make a while of unseen when we finish don't worry about it because anybody who watch this show know that as it hit the time i am live i've never been late but it happens it happens but thank okay. you very much, Unseen, for being here, my good friend. He's my good friend. So, you know, I will forgive him this time. And thank you all for stopping by. And remember, tomorrow night, remember, this year is an Olympic year. So we, I'm trying to get as many Olympians on the show and as many coaches as we can because we have a lot to talk about so thank you guys unseen do you have any closing remark well, i just want to say you know the 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 the, 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 the uh, team jamaica team with well you know big up the coach big up the, the ministry of sports as well you know you know greeting them and giving them showing them love and so on and all the persons in the comments section, well, to, you know sticking with us and listening and you know just you know giving us information as well as so everybody is learning all the persons who did not get information must be filled with information tonight and we we'll keep on moving on. We we'll keep on doing the work for you guys. A lot of events coming up in track and field, uh, you know, unseen sports, to, um, football, and other different sports as well. So come over, you know, like, subscribe, and share to the content. Share it to as many people as possible. And remember, this platform is not really false, it's for you. All right? Don't forget that. So like, subscribe, and share. Very important. Thank you very much. And, and let me tell you, I am guilty. I, I never remember to say like, share, and subscribe. For the life of me, I cannot remember. I'm so caught up in the content most times, all the time, that I never say, I never remember to say um, like, share, and subscribe. So I'm saying it tonight. Please, please subscribe and share the content. I don't know, for the life of me, I just can't remember. Um, and that is to show you that my focus is not on that my focus is really on sharing with you guys and talking about track and field and trying to improve on the sport that we love so much so guys i will see you tomorrow night when i will have three-time olympian miss vilma charlton who is also a vice president of the j3 so guys I will see you guys tomorrow night. Have a good night. Kino, Prince, everybody, Lancelot, everybody. I can't remember all the names. Pauline, uh, Ozzy, uh, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. And you guys have a wonderful night or a wonderful morning if you're coming from Oceanic, if you're coming from Australia. I realize that I have followers from every continent from Europe, Africa, Asia, Antarctica, Oceanic, South America, North America, everybody. Thank you very much for watching my program. Thank you for the love. And we will see you again soon. Thank you very much, Pauline. You are welcome. And please come again. Um, oh, Ozzy saying, kudos to the Ministry of Sport, who over the years has always supported Carifta track and field team. Big up to the Ministry of Sport. I would love to have 
a discussion Pick with the again. minister, Minister Grange. If you are listening or if anybody can reach her, I would love to have a talk with her as it relates to track and field and the development of our middle and long distance program. So Minister Grange, I would love to have a talk with you. Please to share this part of the interview, the discussion with her. Please snip it and send it to the minister if you know her. I'm going to say it again. Minister Grange, I would love to have a discussion with you as it relates to track and field and the development of our middle and long distance program. Thank you. I'd love to have a talk with you. Guys, thank you very much. Giovanni Smythe, thank you for being here. And we want to also big up um kelly's aunt who joined us on friday and she did tell us that he was going to win he was going to do big things and he did thank you guys very much see you tomorrow night thank you unseen thank you for being here sir yes man always, always. and i will speak with you off the air thank you guys have a good night yes have a good night everyone